How long have you been in the arts, tattoo? I've been doing it um, 11 years. 11 years? Mm -hmm. Okay. And how did, how did you get started? Um, I've always been an art student and I was going to school, um, but I happened to move into a military town and there's not a lot to do in military towns except, you know, go to strip clubs, the mall, or tattoo shops. So I ended up kind of taking an apprenticeship at a tattoo shop, just thinking I'd do that through school and it ended up turning out to be a really good career. So it was a good move. The tools right, for the cool. job. This is kind of a waiting room area. Okay. It's our little mini lobby. Uh, for me, uh, I went to college, got a degree, um, moved away, did the whole uh, suit and tie job for a couple years. It made me totally miserable. I was just kind of kidding myself. I was out in Arizona and I uh, started tattooing out there. Um, I was out there, you know, did that for maybe a year, moved back here, um, worked at a couple other places, by seven years total in town here. We uh, opened up in uh, middle of August this past summer. 2010? Yeah. Okay. So it's pretty fresh. Um, we started off, um, since we've been in town for quite a while, we already you know, had a decent amount of people that we've been already tattooing, um, you know, continuing projects on and things like that, and, you know, referrals from that. So we've been living off that for, you know, a while, but it, you know, every day it, the, the, the new business starts to come in. Well, we both grew up in Council Bluffs, and it's kind of like a mascot. Um, there's a lot of them over there, and it's just, I, it was always, I kind of liked the name for a long time. Like, I had it on my license plate, like, long before I even thought we, you know, we would do this. And it's kind of a, it's unique. It's not something that, you know, people are gonna have. It's not like some standard cheesy tattoo shop name, you know, that anybody would have. It's kind of a, Midwest thing, also, you know, it's, it's definitely you know, for like when we, animal, you know, <laughs> when we do uh, conventions and travel to other places, we kind of feel like we represent the Midwest that way with our black squirrel logo. And I was told after we opened that it was a symbol of good luck if you see one, so I knew we made the right choice. This is my room, I work out of here personally, so you'll have a little bit of music, a nice place to sit down. be a jack of all trades in this business to be successful um, but so I kind of like a new challenge you know when someone gives you a little more freedom with a design that's usually the best thing so my favorite thing to do is just let someone allow me to kind of turn something into my own um, but I do like to do you know the stamp like pinups are one of my favorite things to do um, anything really colorful and kind of kind of funky with cartoons is kind of fun you know I mean I'm really versatile um, I like to do realistic stuff, I like to do traditional stuff, like Japanese stuff, you know, it's, it's kind of all over the board. Sometimes it just depends on the style that it is. I try and figure something out. Once I get, once I figure it out, it's like I am bored and I want to like move on to the next thing and conquer that and then move on to the next thing. You know, I started doing like airbrush stuff, like realistic, you know, like animal skulls for a while, like five paintings of those. And then, you know, like, well, I want to learn how to watercolor stuff. Um, I've managed other shops before, like okay. kind of take them and built them and opened them and for someone else and managed and took care of them. Okay. But this is my first kind of my own baby, you know, my creation with Matt, so it's more important now than ever. It's, it's a big deal. Okay. Like when I said I had a suit and tie job before, you know, like I did like, a, I was like kind of like in a management position, but it wasn't, you know, my business. Right. But even though it was night and day different from this and I didn't enjoy it, it's still little things that you do in other, um, on other avenues kind of help you do, you know, when you do your own thing, it kind of helps. Um, I would invite anybody to check our place out because, you know, I think our place is, is unique and um, worth checking out. Well, tattooing's really gone very mainstream in the last 10 years, so it's not such a underground thing now you know you get to bring those things out and people are actually interested in it for once and maybe that's because of reality tv i don't know but you know lowriders are now interesting in all the, the art that goes on and pinstripes and all that stuff before was really kind of an underground culture 
and I'm just excited to see it really come out as an art form. Well, hey, thanks for having us out there at uh, Black Squirrel Tattoo. Uh, they can check you out online. Where at? www.blacksquirreltattoo.com. Okay. You guys on Facebook? Yep. yep. Facebook, okay, so look for them on Facebook and Twitter on and Foursquare. Twitter and Foursquare, okay. <laughs> Gotta connect all the dots, right? <laughs> yeah.